Well, if you have a retail-based business, the big question this year is, are you ready for the changes in how credit cards are processed? Andy Ellen of the North Carolina Retail Merchants Association joins us now to explain. Welcome. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah, for sure. So, Andy, what are the changes? Uh, effective October 1st, the way the interaction between credit card companies, your Visa and your MasterCard and retailers and or other businesses that accept credit cards will change. And the credit card contracts are requiring retailers to upgrade their credit card terminals and how they accept credit cards going forward. Wow. Okay. So this is requiring businesses to make an upgrade to their terminals. Is that going to be expensive? It's going to be, it should be very expensive depending on how many terminals you have. But the, uh, the ramifications if you don't are much more expensive because if you do not upgrade your terminal and there's credit card fraud, the company that takes the credit card will take all the, the damages. Oh boy. Okay. So what happens if a business doesn't make the change? Well, as I said, if you do not make the change um, and there is a credit card fraud or a fraudulent transaction, then the, the business that took the credit card is going to be completely liable. If you upgrade and do what you're supposed to do, the liability shifts back to the credit card company. Okay. So big changes here. So now for consumers, what do these changes mean? Because now we know what they mean for businesses, but what for consumers? Well, for consumers, you may already be seeing an issuance of a new credit card called a chip and pin type card, an EMV card, which has a chip based inside the card. And instead of swiping it, you will now insert it into the machine. Really? like you normally do with an ATM and then have to enter into a PIN number, which makes it much more secure. They've been doing it this way in Europe for forever. The retail industry has been pushing banks and credit unions to do this for a long time, and this is finally coming about. Right. It seems like it's going to solve a lot of problems. So how is the Retail Merchants Association helping members through this process? We are trying to educate our members to tell them to go in and start working with their credit card vendors, especially independent retailers. Chains have already been working on this for some time, but independents to work through their credit card vendor. We're also doing some webinars and they can call, contact our office or look at our website about how to, how to get involved with those. It's free uh, in June, this coming, this coming June. But uh, we're really trying to educate them and educate the public as well. Very cool. I'll feel very important when I'm sitting there. I'll be like, I already knew this was going to happen <laughs> when they're like sticking those things into the machine and then you got to put the double dials in and everything. So very cool stuff. Thank you for all this good information. Thank you very much for having me. All right. If you are interested in being a part of the North Carolina Retail Merchants Association, visit the website ncrma.org.